Yeah, these two records were very much a massive disappointment, and I feel like that is the most polite way that I can put it. And I am feeling a strong three on this Again, one. as a fan of the group, Kevin does drop a lot of info on this LP in regards to Brockhampton's demise that I kind of want to hear. But the fact remains, even the best moments on this project are fleeting, because the overall picture here is sloppy, it's mismanaged, it's kind of a half-hearted goodbye. And I'm feeling a strong four on it, honestly. So while I didn't love this whole thing, it, it does excite me and it does make me look forward to the future of what the group is going to be delivering as they kind of go through these changes. And those are pretty much my thoughts on the record. I'm feeling a light to decent seven. But as, as far as those sad boy feels go, and songwriting go, I, I do think this record does go quite hard. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one. It was pretty great to hear the group branching out creatively for the majority of this record and sounding really good doing it. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one. And this record really assured me that their creativity and versatility it's real, and it's certainly going to carry them on to whatever the next metamorphosis or chapter is in their career once they drop their next record. And all I can say right now is that I'm looking forward to that. I'm feeling a decent strong eight on this thing. And I think it's pretty cool of them to kind of give fans this run of trilogy albums before they hopefully retool and kind of go on to something else. Whether that be them growing as solo artists or kind of giving us their next phase as a collective. Saturation 3, here we come! I'm feeling a decent to strong 8 on this thing. So, I mean, I'm just gonna leave it here and say, this is fantastic. Make sure you listen to this. It's an excellent project and I am feeling a light 9 on it.